everyone. Um, the date is the 27th of July, it's a Thursday and it is 8, no, 6.18 um, and I'm on the train in Norwich about to depart to London and I have not vlogged for a while. Um, I did attempt to start a vlog in terms of getting for the last time because I've been in Norwich for a week so um, I did try and vlog me coming back and try and vlog my week here but that train ended up being about 70 minutes late and I just wasn't in the mood. The next station is Liverpool Street. <laughs> saw some of my girlfriends from high school and they said that um, Amy, um, Amy was an elm and she liked my vlogs and that was so sweet to hear. So hi Amy if you're watching, I didn't know if you are. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd try and bring some vlogs back because I really enjoy vlogging. Um, and I do want to do some more main channel stuff but I'm unsure about content. I'm a bit stuck at the moment. But we'll see. Hopefully I'll get my mojo back. the 28th of July and it's currently 10 02 um, I have not just woken up I do need to like do my face routine um, but I have brushed my teeth um, and I've just been chilling on YouTube I am currently catching up on um, I think it's another girl's life her vlogs um, but I watched I first of all watched um, Dodie's I'm Sorry video because she was just kind of talking about how much she maybe is oversharing online in terms of her mental health and how that can kind of be misconstrued and isn't always necessarily a positive thing. Then I also watched um, Melanie Murphy's video that she did like just as a um, adding to the conversation um, towards that which Dodie did a video a couple days ago with Hazel so that was really interesting I thought she was really articulate in that I'm gonna link all of these below by the way um, and yeah that's it's just been a slow morning I sorry I did not oh also sorry about the noise coming from outside um, I live underneath the Heathrow flight path I'm really close to Heathrow so this is um, gonna be something you hear every minute sorry um, but I was really tired when I got back yesterday and in terms of traveling like traveling just kind of gives me anxiety so apart from sitting on the train which is just like what you do for two hours I didn't really feel like I should get out my camera and stuff also I just had like a massive backpack and my suitcase that was really heavy and I was just trying to get around London um so yeah I didn't really bust out the camera but I do kind of snap things quite a lot because my phone just to hand and whatnot so do follow me on snapchat if you if you'd like to see what i do on a daily basis kind of <laughs> and when i'm not necessarily vlogging um i know instagram stories have taken over and i feel like i'm rambling now but i'm not really sure what the plan is for today i'm honestly just so exhausted <laughs> from traveling because it takes me about like four hours i'd say to from like leaving my place in norwich to getting here in london I left at like 5.40 and I got home at about 9.40 so 
yeah it was intense but I'm here I'm home and I'm so happy to be home there's just there's no place like home there's just so, like a certain ease you feel when you're home so yeah that's the plan I'm not sure how much I'm gonna vlog today because I'm probably just gonna be like mulling around the house and pottering around so yeah that that's all but yeah I'll come back to you I'm sorry I've rambled for so long I don't feel like I usually do this but yeah I have missed you guys hopefully this will turn into some sort of weekly vlog I really want to maybe try and do weekly vlogs so I feel like that's something I could probably commit to I do like daily vlogs but I just don't feel like my life's that interesting enough to do a daily vlog to be honest and um, but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now bye see you in a bit everyone is 4.49 and what's happened I have had another cup of tea since I last saw you I'm now on my third um and I've just been chilling chatting to the family catching up really what is happening I was supposed to see some of my year 13 French people um a level um like reunion for my French class but I have to babysit my little brother today um because no one else is around to do it so that's a bit of a shame and I'm feeling a bit ill like my throat and I feel like I'm coming down with something um that I've been trying to like ride out but I don't want it to hit me I'm gonna like try and ride it out before I mean until after the holiday at least um so not very exciting evening and I think I'm gonna make curry so I guess I'll show you that when I'm ready but now I'm just gonna have a cup of tea a couple biscuits and keep watching some YouTube so yeah it's been a very chill day yeah Um, and I've got some rice on for the curry and I'm just about to start the curry um, and I just thought I'd mention that I'm basing it with some onions I've got red onion garlic about three four cloves and some ginger um, and I'm gonna like saute that and sweat that in the pan and then add like cumin and paprika um, and some other spices then add in some what are they called chickpeas and um, then pop in some kind of curry sauce as well um, and like that kind of 
boil away, bubble away, then add some spinach in. Just kind of pack it full of goodness. Um, and I've got some naan bread as well, which I'll heat up towards the end. But I'm watching um, Fleur de Force, her pregnancy updates, um, just because it's something that interests me. And I've been watching a bit of Phil DeFranco. Um, yeah, I feel like I've actually been vlogging quite a lot today, despite not actually getting up to much. So I'm not sure how much of a weekly video this will be because I've already kind of started editing this. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get to cooking. the chickpeas in, spiced those and then added the jars of the curry stuff. Um, yeah, uh, the rice is almost done I think. I just tried some that was a bit hard, just a little bit. Um, but I don't mean like rice al dente. So yeah, and I'm just preheating the oven for the naan that are going in. They are garlic and coriander. And so yes, that is the plan. Um, so I'm just going to let the sauce simmer for about 10 minutes before I add the spinach that will just kind of wilt on top. But yeah, should be good. I doubt you can see it but oh it's just there there's the Royal Albert Hall and I again as a yearly tradition have come down to see the Serpentine Gallery um, I'm gonna be geeking out quite a lot about this because obviously it's architecture related and I quite like the architect he's called Diabodo Francis Kiri um, he's from Gando um, and yeah I'm looking forward to it I'm supposed to be meeting Drew but she's running late um, but I'm going to try and have a look at it first without the rain but apparently when it rains it's supposed to kind of be like turn into a fountain so yeah that's the plan today and it feels really weird to be like vlogging properly in public especially in London it's been a while so I made it to the pavilion um, and I definitely think it's my favourite one that, they've, that I've seen um, so far and I think I've been here for like I've seen the past four ones before this um, but I really like this architect so I knew I wasn't going to be disappointed um, from like seeing pictures it's not exactly what I expected I thought like this blue wall like went entirely all the way around but they're kind of like different walls that I to enter from like different sides and I love that there's like a smooth concrete floor as well it's lovely and I especially like this internal bit just there um, so that bit's like not covered and I'm waiting for the rain to kind of come down more so you can see how it interacts with that um, and Drew's still not here so I'm still waiting for her but I really like it a lot I'm really impressed <laughs>
55, I am with Drew. We met up around quarter past one and I haven't vlogged in like two hours, but sorry. Um, I quickly just thought I'd mention that we also went to the Serpentine Gallery itself um, and we saw the exhibition on by Grayson Perry and it was really, really good and amazing. Highly recommend. I'll let you get back to the vlog now. We went to an that was too loud. Never mind. still um, and we I don't actually remember what this is called but we are currently at the VNA which I said we would be but it's raining which we're not surprised about because it's London and it's England um, but we're in one of these I don't know I'm gonna call it some sort of pod thing but apparently this was made for like some Canadian fishes um, for like when they're really strong gales and stuff um, so they can still be like on the water and just kind of be away from the wind and stuff. So this is kind of protective, but it's helping us with the rain right now. Um, yeah, it, it does have like a couple of like perforations and stuff. So I wouldn't say I'm 100% dry, <laughs> but it's okay. It could be worse. Um, yeah, no, it's really nice in here. And of course, I've been having a moment over the architecture. Um, and screaming, but I haven't managed to capture those on camera. Drew's been laughing at that, evidently. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's really nice. Um, I haven't shown you yet, but I will. But the new entrance is actually so beautiful. Like, it's incredible. I love it so much. Um, yeah. We're having a great time. And we're in the courtyard, by the way, in case that wasn't clear. been like filming it for you so there's probably some little montage I've done but yeah we really like it I think I'm most impressed with like this wall kind of archway thing here behind me and um, that they've done I really like that bit and I also quite like how light the floor is it really does something for the space um some people that I overheard just talking didn't like maybe the color of the roof um which I, I can understand actually I mean, I know it's white, but it doesn't necessarily fit in with like the surrounding context, I guess. And I'm getting really architectural here, so I'm just going to stop. You guys probably don't care. Hello everyone, it's 4.37. I've left you now. Um, she had to get a different line, and I'm waiting for the district line to Richmond. Um, and we're at South Ken. So yeah, I don't think it should be too long now. Oh, here it is.
5.11 and I have made it home. So yeah, I feel like he got home pretty quickly. Or maybe the journey just flew by. But yeah, I made it home now and I think I'm just gonna start packing because we're going away and just tidy up and just do chores and things like that really. Um, there's nothing else to report. Uh, so I feel like I might just sign off the vlog here because um, I think there's enough footage for the like past few days I've been filming hopefully. Um, I haven't edited the second bit so I'm not sure but I hope you enjoyed this video um, and yeah I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you so much for watching!